Hey y'all, this is Jamie. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Keep or Declutter video. In today's video, I am going to be using the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette. And by the end of the video, I will decide if I want to keep this in my collection or declutter it. But before we get into that, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Also be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like this video and if you like this series. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so today's palette, Chasing Rainbows palette. This is from ColourPop. This is what it looks like. So there is no mirror up top. Just keep your head in the clouds. 15 shades in here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven matte shades. We have one, two that are kind of matte shades with specks of glitter. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six shimmer shades. Not bad. The matte shades that there are, I think are pretty different. There is definitely a variation in shades. Um, you have, I think you have enough light matte shades, enough dark matte shades. Um, so you can definitely create several different looks with this palette. I do have a video, I'm pretty sure, creating another look with this palette. I think I think right when I got this, I did a full video on this palette. So if you would like to go watch that, I will link it up in the cards above. I think I actually got this for free with one of my purchases from ColourPop. I think they just like put this in there for free. Um, but I can't remember what I bought in order to get this. Yeah, so I'm gonna create a look with this. I'm gonna try to create one different from the look I've already created. I honestly don't remember it. I probably should have looked it up to see. Then we're gonna decide if this should stay in my collection or should get rid of it. So I'm thinking I really want to use these shades right here. This one called Eclipse and then this one called Lucid. I really want to use those two shades. I guess I'll go into this shade right here, Wishlist, and I'll put that in the crease. So now I think I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Keep Cool. I'm gonna darken up the outer corner a little bit. I might go into Prism as well if it doesn't darken it up enough. So I want to use these two shades right here, this one Eclipse and this one Lucid. Those look like my favorite ones and this kind of tells you how cool this shade is right here because on camera it looks blue but when I'm looking at it, it looks purple. So it's kind of like a little duochrome like that is what it looks like when I'm looking at it but then like this it looks completely blue. I very rarely use a brush for shimmer shades um, but I want this to go in a specific place so I'm gonna put that kind of in the middle third, going a little bit into that darker shade in the outer corner. Okay, and then I am gonna take that a little bit higher than the crease. Like I was saying in my last video, I actually like putting shimmer shades above the crease a little bit, especially since I have such a huge lid. Um, and so a lot of times it looks weird if I just stop at the crease, because I almost have like two creases in my lid. So it just looks rather abrupt if I stop at the crease. I'm then going to use the other side of my brush and go into the shade Eclipse right here. And that is gonna go on the inner third of my eye. And then going a little bit into that lucid shade as well to kind of blend it together. So yeah, kind of like that. 
I'm gonna go do the other eye. I'll be right back. All right, so this is the final look. I did put a little bit on my lower lash line, so I went in with actually the shade Woke, because um, I didn't want it to be too dark on my lower lash line. I've said before, I've said it a million times, I don't like really dark colors on my lower lash line, because I feel like it makes my eyes look smaller. Um, so I put the shade Woke right there, and I just took it about a third of the way in. And then, as far as the shimmer shades, which I love putting on my lower lash line, um, I did basically what I did for the lid. I put the shade Lucid on the outer like half of my lid of my lower lash line, and then on the inner half is Eclipse. On my lips, I am wearing the Lizzie McGuire Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade Gordo. I thought this went with my eye look. Again, as I said in that video, which if you didn't see my full review on this collection, I'll link it up in the cards above. Um, pretty much all of these shades look the same on the lips, but you know, I thought the packaging went with my with my eye look. As far as a verdict, let's first talk about some of the negatives to this palette. So, first negative, there is no mirror, so I had to use something else the entire time and go back and forth. Next con. This is not available anymore. I was looking it up before I started filming and it used to be sold on Ulta.com. It used to be sold on Colourpop.com. It is not sold on either of those now. It is sold out um, and that does affect my videos. If I do tutorials, I like for those who are watching my tutorials to be able to get the products that I am using. Or if people just like how a product looks and want it for their collection, I want them to be able to get it. So now the pros of this palette. It has a good number of matte shades. Um, I think it has a good ratio of matte to shimmer to glitter shades. I also love the shades in this palette. I think they're very unique. And the shimmer shades, I love them. I think that was one of the first things that I liked about it. I think I mentioned that in my review of this palette. As far as the performance on the actual eyes, I think you can see they are very pigmented, but not too much so. They're not super crumbly. It's easy to blend. I really love it. Like, I actually really liked my look even before I put the shimmer shade on. I, I really love the performance of these shades. I typically do with ColourPop shadows, um, but I think this is one of my favorites. So as far as my final verdict, even though it's not still available, I think I am gonna keep this just because it is so unique and I do love the shimmer shades that are in this palette. I am going to keep the ColourPop Chasing Rainbows palette. I've been keeping a lot lately. When's the last one? What's the last one that I decluttered? I think the last one I decluttered was the Anna palette. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe to the channel before you leave and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I upload a new video. Also be sure to give this a thumbs up if you like the video, if you like the series. If you have any requests on videos that you would like me to do, on any products that you would like me to review, leave those in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all.